The search is on tonight for burglars who made off with tens of thousands of dollars worth of fishing gear from a Kearney Mesa tackle shop. The break in happened yesterday and was all caught on camera. News 8's Kelly Hessedal is live in Kearney Mesa with the latest on the investigation. Kelly. Yeah, Carlo, the owner understandably very upset tonight. He says uh, based on the video, you can tell that this was not a random uh, break in. If you look over here, you can see the damage along the door frame uh, from after the burglars pried open the front door. Now, the owner also says tonight that he believes this break in could be tied to another at a different tackle shop that happened back in March. Surveillance video captured 4.30 a.m. Sunday of two thieves wearing hoodies, masks, and gloves, breaking into San Diego tackle traders on convoy court. One suspect leaves to grab a trash bin, while the other uses a flashlight to look around. The second man reappears, and according to the owner, the duo stole 150 reels and about 30 to 40 fishing rods. When we came in, these rods were all kind of pushed over and um, falling apart. Um, there was reels. Um, scattered all over the ground. It's heartbreaking. I mean, this is something that's taken us years and years to build. Store owner about John here, Nichols. These, everything was gone from here um, over to about here on the case where this is broken out. Angry doesn't describe the feelings. Yeah, this is how we, we provide for our families. Nichols says the amount of items stolen was close to $100,000. This is a huge problem in the industry. I mean, there's been a lot of tackle stores that this has happened to. And that includes Dana Landing in Mission Bay. They actually stole a U-Haul truck and put it sideways across the front door so the people in the street couldn't see them. Every one of our display reels all up here, all up here, all down here. Owner Steve Pinard shared surveillance video of a break-in at his store back in March. Thieves dressed in hoodies and masks also filled trash bins with several items, including expensive reels. Oh, no, they filled the trash cans to the point where... The guy had to, they had to get help. It was just under seventy thousand dollars. So it's a big chunk. It's not. It's not like you know. It's not losing a, a couple hundred dollars from a from a little petty thief. Pinard says no arrests were ever made. In the same clothes, same trash cans, same. It looks like the same thing, just in a different spot. Everything, it's almost the same time of day. Everything is is very similar. Both he and Nichols believe the thieves have knowledge of the tackle industry. Yep, they definitely they know their fishing stuff. Until these guys get caught, it's going to keep happening. Somebody out there knows who did this, so we would hope that they would you know turn them in and do the right thing. And so if you have any information, uh, contact San Diego Police. Now, just to be clear, we do not know if these two cases are connected. I did reach out to San Diego Police today, but because it is a holiday, uh, they could not provide any information on this case today. But we'll check back in with them and we'll keep you posted.